Okay, what we have here tonight is an ICO 1064S. It's a variable DC power supply. It has a 6 volt and 12 volt range. It's rated at 10 amps on the 12 volts and 20 amps on 6. Uh, on and off switch with the light uh, to indicate when it's on. It uses a Variac type transformer to adjust the voltage. So you're literally adjusting the AC voltage on the secondary of the transformer. And, uh, and then it rectifies that AC voltage with a full wave rectifier and applies it to uh, dual 5000 microfarad uh, capacitors and a, uh, a 5 millihenry uh, large uh, high current choke. So you're getting the old fashioned brute force uh, power supply and filtration. Uh, chokes and transformers of this type uh, these days are quite expensive and having been replaced by the um, uh, switching power supply. Um, advantage of this particular unit would be uh, lower noise level than a number of switching units and certainly um, uh, at higher currents um, about all you need to do would be to apply more uh, capacitor filtration and and uh, you could virtually knock the noise out, whereas on a, uh, a switching uh, power supply, you're very likely to have a high frequency noise you can't get rid of. So a lot of folks on certain critical circuits would much rather have a linear uh, power supply to, to do that. So this would give you one on a bench. Uh, the high current rating means uh, you're not going to be limited um, uh, current-wise for any large draw that you might have on a project. Um, the unit is in very good looking shape as you can see. Now this having been because in part it has a, a new paint job. Yours truly gave it a, a new paint job. And um, cleaned it up, replaced the, uh, the fuse holder was broken, uh, repaired a, a sticking um, DC uh, voltmeter problem which is common to this particular unit. I read about it online. A number of other people were complaining about similar problems. So that's been repaired. Um, and we're going to put this thing through its paces. Well, let's give you a quick, uh, quick look around. And we still have our rubber feet on the bottom. Everything's looking quite good. We're going to put it through its paces and show you that it, uh, it still can perform. So let's see what we can do. Hang on. All right, we're going to take a look at our, uh, our schematic first so we get familiar with this unit. Again, the ICO 1064, uh, the on-off switch, uh, on indicator, uh, fuse. Here's our Variac uh, uh, transformer on the secondary. So we have a split secondary and they're six volt windings uh, together provide 12 volts so if you're in the 12 volt side then you're pulling the power off of the ends of the windings and applying it to the full wave rectifier and if you go to the six volt then you're drawing from the uh, uh, each one of the six volts in parallel and providing that to the full wave as well uh, you have a, a, uh, a current regulating uh, auto breaker here and when you switch um, from 12 volts to 6 volts then you're also switching in a shunt on the meter so that you can handle the extra current and here's your dual 5000 uh, capacitor 5000 microfarad capacitors your 5 millihenry coil and your output voltmeter so that's our circuit. I'll provide the diagram with it. And um, right now I have it connected to a, a little load center that I have here. And inside this load center right now we're connected on the 1 ohm terminal. It's a, uh, a precision 0.1% uh, 1 ohm resistor, 50 watts I believe. Um, and we have a fan cooled uh, unit. 
I'm going to turn that on right now. And then I've got my uh, DC voltmeter connected in parallel to that 1 ohm resistor so that we can read the voltage across it. So you read the voltage across 1 ohm. Uh, essentially you're reading the current in digitally. So uh, 1 volt on 1 ohm is 1 amp. Uh, uh, 10 volts would be 10 amps, 12 volts, 12 amps, and so on. So we're going to see what this thing is capable of doing by reading the voltage on that resistor. So let's go ahead and turn it on. We're going to start in the 12 volt range. Okay. Um, and then let's watch our meter over here. And I will, oh, let's see, I'll show you. I'll let you see that I'm dialing it in. All right. And what I'm getting is 13.8 volts. And that's about what I'm reading on the meter over here. 13.8 volts would be 13.8 amperes. In the bottom scale, I'm reading that. And I am reading about 14 volts on the DC voltmeter. So 13.8, 14 volts, 14 amps. Yes. So we actually did better than the 10 amps that was uh, the spec on the 12 volt range. So uh, we're going to take it up to, um, yeah, heck, let's do the 6 amp limit that's in spec. All right, 6.06, 6.07. And uh, so that's 6 amps, and also that's 6 volts. And we are on 50 millivolts per centimeter, and we are reading just a tad over 50 millivolts. Well, it's 6, it's six volts. 6 volts, 1% would be... Um, uh, 0 0.06. So we are reading maybe, yeah, about 50, 60 millivolts. So that would be 1% and that would be correct at this level. Now let's go ahead and turn this thing up and get ourselves up to 10 amps. There's 10. And right now we are reading about maybe, yeah, let's move this up a little bit. We're reading about two centimeters, so it's uh, it's uh, hundred millivolts at ten amps. Now it's also ten volts, so let's figure that out. One percent, which would be uh, for one percent up to six amps, that would be points uh, point one volts, and we had a hundred millivolts, so that'd be point one volts. So. We are at 1% all the way up to 10 amps, which is 4 amps greater than the, the 6 that is specified in the, um, uh, the tear sheet. And uh, actually, we can go up to 13.8 amps on this, uh, this particular scale. So we are, we are exceeding the, uh, the specifications on the 0 to 12 volt scale. So that's what I wanted to prove. Let's uh, take a look at the 6 volt scale. On the 6 volt scale, I'm up maximum. That's 8.5 volts and 8.5 amps. And uh, we are reading a uh, little over 100 millivolts. Uh, it's kind of spiky looking. And on the 6 volt range, that would be a little bit large. Well, no, I take it back. On 6 volts, we're supposed to be 4 to 5 percent. Um, so uh, we're pulling uh, 8.5 amps, and uh, 1 percent would be uh, 0 0.08. Five times that would be 0.4. So uh, we are running uh, about you know, 0.15, something like that. So we're well under that. So Ripple's low on the 6-volt scale also. 
but the best we're able to do on that scale is uh, 8.5 amps and not the 20 that it promised so there's obviously uh, there's something limiting the current in the 6 volt range and it could be the switch um, yeah, it could possibly be uh, one of the um, uh, contact points on the on the uh, auto transformer although I don't think so but it could be and uh, but on 12 volts you're you're getting 13 amps 13.8 amps um, which is more than double uh, its spec so we're, we're doing good so happy bidding I'll provide the, uh, the schematic and the spec sheet with it. <coughs> Thanks for watching.